Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a PR unboxing and I asked you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my name is Kim Ter Stege, I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a huge one or a smaller one and that I swatch a lot of the product. So you guys wanted to see a smaller one and that is what I'm going to do today. So let me get all the boxes. Okay, so... It is pretty heavy. I still think it's a lot though, but this is everything. And there is one beneath here. Okay, so before we get started, can I just say please thumbs up this video if you like these kinds of videos and also subscribe to my channel and put in the notification bell because it really, really helps me out. And without any further ado, let's get started. This box is the first one I see. My microphone right here, so I hope the sound of the boxes opening is not too hard. I always appreciate it when brands write a no well. I always appreciate when brands write a note. So these are the headliner lipsticks, and here I have the shades Stephanie, Busy, Emmy, I guess, and Elise. So this is what the packaging looks like. And here I have the shades Kennedy, Eileen, and Aquila. I'm sorry if I pronounce things wrong. Um, I'm from the Netherlands, so English is not my first language, so I might mispronounce some things. But these are the other three lipsticks. This is what the lipstick looks like. That is a little bit annoying. It doesn't say on here what shade lipstick it is, so you have to keep the cardboard. Otherwise, you don't know what lipstick it is, but this is the shade Kennedy, which is a blue-red. Let's swatch a few of them. Okay, so my SD card was full. I just, I just swatched the shade Kennedy. That one is Eileen. So I want to swatch I, I, Elise. Uh, Elise. Elise. So you can definitely see that you can build it up to a full coverage, but it starts out as a more sheer co coverage. So they also sent me the Focus Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. And if you flip it open, you can see the shades. So in the mirror, it says Beauty with Purpose. And then these are the shades. So this is definitely a more cool toned shade palette. Let's swatch Victoria. Ooh, it is very creamy. Then we have Elizabeth, Diana, I think. No, this is Kate. No, it's Diana. And then we have Kate. No, I think I flipped it around. It's not really... Diana looks lighter on the back, but I think Diana is the last one I swatched. I I'm so bad at this, you guys. That is such a fill. Wipe away what I already swatched. These are the worst swatches I ever did. I just can't swatch on camera. But they look pretty nice. I wouldn't say they are full coverage, but they definitely are nice. Two more things. Lashes. These are the lashes in the style Robin. We also have the Infinity Waterproof Lash Adhesive, which is latex free again blue and it comes with a little brush moving on the last thing they sent me the high shine reviving topper in the shade glinda oh this is so pretty this is definitely my jam oh it is definitely sheerer than i thought i don't think you guys can see it on camera but it is super pretty it's a glittery gloss. Okay, so that is everything Thrive Cosmetics sent me. And I definitely love that they are a beauty with a cause. So definitely check them out. And I, of course, will put everything, uh, every single product and shade I got in the description down below. So let's move on to this one. There's only one product in here. So in here is the Plump It Lip Plumper. So it is a pen like this. And then you click it and the lip plumper comes out. I always hate that you have to click these things like a thousand times. 
And then once something comes out, like comes out for enough product for the rest of the year, it doesn't smell like anything. I can't tell you guys much. It just doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so let's move on to the next package, which is this one. Guys, normally I always open my packages right away because I can never wait to see what is in there. So I just had to wait a few days before I could open everything, which was killing. A lot of you guys also DM me like, girl, how did you not open everything? And it was definitely very hard <laughs> to not open everything, but I managed to do it. But I actually didn't want to wait any longer. Oh, this is Sufa Beauty. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so first up I got a pressed eyeshadow in the shade Gastown Grind. My cat is being so crazy. Gibby! The pen is pretty big, actually. So this is what the eyeshadow looks like. It is super pretty. Ooh, it is very, very creamy. Ooh, that is so That is so stunning. So then I also got two Hydra liners. And first up we got the shade Rose Gold. So you just activate this with a little bit of water. And then you can use it as a liner or you can use it like basically for anything. So I'm super excited they also sent me this. And then they also sent another one in the shade Grease. Yes, this is definitely the black one. So I can't wait to try these out. I will definitely do it on Instagram or something or on YouTube if you guys want to see it. And this is the last product, which is the Cupcakes and Monsters eyeshadow palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is definitely super cute. Ooh, this is so pretty. So the palette has a mirror. And then it has all of these super bright shades. So these shades are Sugar Diet, Electric Slide, Funny Face, and Bloody Mary. Then we have Got Milk, Sangria Sundays, Clover Club, and Blue Lagoon. I'm just gonna swatch a few of these. These are definitely way creamy. And by the way, all of these shades are matte, so I got those. Don't look at my swatch because I just can't, I just can't swatch on camera. But these are definitely pigmented. Okay, so the white isn't as pigmented as the rest, but definitely all of these shades are very nice and I can't wait to use them. So moving on, we have another one. We're moving to the big ones. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this one. You guys don't even know. They emailed me like way back if I wanted to be on their PR. And of course I wanted to be on their PR. But a lot of companies when they email you if you want to be on the PR, they send you like a care package so you can get started with using their brand and get to know the brands a little bit. But they never sent a package, so I, was, so I was like, okay, sure. Now, I finally got a package, and it is wrapped very well. Oh my god. Are you guys ready? So this is Natasha Denona. If you guys don't know the brand, oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh my god, you guys, this is so gorgeous. The visual on the box. And then here is the eyeshadow palette. This visual is so freaking stunning. It is a very, very cute and purple packaging. This is the Lila palette. Oh my god. Okay, so it comes with this attached plastic, which has all the names on it and a mirror. As you can see, it has little magnets right there. So it is a magnetic magnetic palette so i'm just gonna swatch a few shades so i'm gonna take the shade viola cyclone nude vino magnolia these are the shades on my hand first one second one 
second one. Third. Fourth. And again, just don't look at how crumbly these swatches are. I just can't swatch. Maybe I should just swatch and then show you guys because this isn't working. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shades Helio, Dragon Bite, Amethyst, and Gen Cheno, Genu. So these are the swatches on my finger. Oh, this one is... You guys, this is insanely beautiful pigmented so i think i'm just gonna film tomorrow and do a look with this one because this palette is everything to the ugh, last big box this one is from tarte i think yep this one is from tarte so they sent me a lot of products. I don't know where to start. Okay, so I see a couple of the Maracuja Priceless Concealers. Okay, so they sent me a bunch. These are all the Maracuja Priceless Priceless Concealers. Okay, so we have a light and fair. So this is what the packaging looks like. So it is definitely a more thicker consistency. So here you can really see the two shades compared to each other. Feels very nice though. I mean that little bit went a long way and it isn't even blended out all the way. Oh my god, can you guys hear that? I'm gonna finish up this video real quick. Shape Tape Concealers in the shade Fair, which I always use. I'm not gonna show you guys because you guys probably already know what it looks like but they sent me two in my shade which I'm very very thankful for because it's my favorite concealer and then they also sent me all of these clay stick foundations so they have three shades that could work for me fair beige a light beige and a fair neutral this is what the packaging looks like and then it has this top very creamy definitely very creamy so we have fair beige fair neutral and a light beige is there a maybe there is a light medium neutral no fair light neutral okay so this is the fair light neutral so sent me the maracuja oil which looks like this this is what it looks like. It has a dropper. Moving on, they also sent me the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. I definitely need to shake that. Ooh. This isn't metallic or anything. You can use this one to hydrate, but you can also use this one instead to give everything a nice glow so they also sent me empowered hybrid gel foundation in a lot of shades so we have the shades fair beige yeah fair beige it is gonna be for me but i definitely have a more neutral undertone it's the packaging very very iconic for tarte Okay, so a little goes a very, very long way. Very full coverage. I'm very excited to try this one out too. This is the last thing they sent me. Artist Clay Paint Liners. In there is the Clay Paint Liner. I think you guys already have seen this one somewhere on YouTube. Looks like that. And then it comes with a little angled um, eyeliner brush. Okay, so that was actually everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you thumbs up this video, I will know that you guys like these kinds of videos. Um, I definitely like them. I want to thank all of the brands for sending me these products. And I am super grateful. If you guys want to see a tutorial using like PR stuff, let me know. I will definitely do a tutorial. 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, as I said. Click the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And that is actually all I wanted to say. So, I hope you have a great day, night, or morning, wherever you are. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week in a new video.